Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Oh boy, proxies got so much easier. This is Fractional Proxies. All right, if you're using uh, large frame media, 4K and up, then you should be working with proxies. It just makes everything so much smoother. Maybe a couple of clips here and there, or one track of, of uh, a dozen clips will be fine. But if your computer's bogging down, then proxies make things easier and make it faster and buttery. But before you had to go out and do some math and I don't like doing math. So there's a new way to make proxies now with a fraction. So a half or a quarter of a screen and you don't have to worry about the original size of the frame. Or if there are mixed frame sizes. So if you've got uh, 3K and 4K all swimming around in the same timeline, you don't have to worry. Let's make some proxies. Okay, so here's my clip. Here's my timeline, uh, it includes some submachine titles. I've got a tutorial on that. A bunch of uh, transitions, lots of fast moving stuff. I wanna replace all of this and add some proxies. So let's go to the media here and I'll select all of my clips. Right click, proxy, create proxies. And here it is, this is the frame size, full, half, quarter, or custom, and here you could put in your own number, but I'm just going for a quarter. ProRes QuickTime Proxy, this is a great uh, format. It, making these in something highly compressed like uh, H.264 MP4s is going to, again, force the, the uh, CPU to work hard. So let's keep them as proxies. And you can put a watermark on these now, the little proxy icon. And you can also set where these are. Um, I'm going to put them next to the original and have it make a new folder for me. I'll click OK and Media Encoder is going to be launched because Premiere Pro doesn't make these. Media Encoder makes these in the background. Uh, you can continue working in Premiere Pro, but every single time you hit play or move the playhead, um, by default, Media Encoder is going to stop encoding. So you'll be uh, going back and forth between the two. And you can see it says creating proxy jobs And we'll just give it a moment here while it's working hard. I'm on my Dell Precision uh, mobile workstation 7770 with a whole bunch of SSDs uh, on board. And here's my proxy button. If, you're, if you haven't worked with proxies, uh, hit the plus button and you can drag it from here down. And when I turn it on, it's going to uh, turn on the proxies if we've converted them. So let's go look at Media Encoder and see what it's doing. So you can see it's still working away at this. It's created four of these. So you're not gonna get that badge showing up until uh, they're all encoded. You can see there's the badge down there as it's being encoded. and dot .mov, so these are the QuickTime um, size. And you can see there's the frame size, 960 by 540. So you, I'll get you to come back in a minute or so when this is done. All right, it looks like they're all done. Now we're back in Premiere Pro and you can see the badge shows up here and nothing is different. If you're not familiar with proxies, you don't have to do anything. All the transitions, size, any kind of scaling or any kind of effects that you've done are all going to work. And I can turn off the proxy and it turns off the proxy, turn on the proxy, 
And there you go. It's so much easier using fractional proxies instead of doing the math, which you could get wrong. And then the frame size is a little bit wonky. Uh, it's just much easier. I love this new method. It should have been this way the whole time. Why do we have to do math? I hate math. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once monthly, any amount. We appreciate everyone who does. Lots of free stuff to download on videorevealed.com slash shop. So go there and check it out. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to poke around in these very tiny little changes that could really be significant to some users like me.